Okay, people, I'm going to do a dog food review just like that because I'm really annoyed. So I just went on my phone and the Google News came up. And obviously, you know, I do a lot of stuff about dogs. So the first thing that came up was um, high quality food, dog food on a budget. <laughs> and I had a Google, I had a Google, no, I had a laugh. Because if you followed me all these years, my whole thing is you could put your money in buying high quality food or you could put your money in buying low quality food on a budget but spending a heck of a lot of money at the vet because your dog's going to get sick and notice that i say high quality food because there's a difference between spending a lot of money on dog food versus spending high a, a lot of money on high quality dog food and what i mean by that is if you buy hill science diet or royal canine my goodness that is so expensive but it's garbage it's garbage people turn the bag around do you see any reference of whole foods in those no so anyway this article uh rated like the top i don't know five or ten high quality foods on a budget and i want to talk about the number one and i want to say look again i i know people are on a budget i get that but i work with people clients that they spend so much money going to the vet okay i i did a story a few weeks ago this woman spent twelve thousand dollars Another one, $13,000. I mean, that seems insane. I know you don't believe me, but it's the truth. You know, uh, and they were doing low quality food that they thought was high quality because, you know, these companies pump so much money into uh, advertising. All right, so let's get to it. This article on Google said that the number one food uh, was... Uh, diamond naturals okay so i went and i looked up diamond naturals and you know cut the kibble here i'm all about the ingredients so you got to turn the bag around so the first and by the way it has 23 percent protein which i consider pretty low but the first ingredient what is the first ingredient supposed to be in dog food okay if you if you follow my channel you know it should be a protein but it should be a named animal protein it should not just say meat it should say either chicken or beef okay and it should not be meal it should be uh, beef not beef meal okay there's a difference between the actual meat and the meal the number one ingredient in diamond naturals is um, lamb meal i'm sure it comes in different proteins but they're all the same with the ingredients it's not lamb it's lamb meal okay uh, ingredients are listed by the order you know that so that's the highest in this in this bag of dog food if you see that drop it run away don't buy it what is lamb meal what is beef meal what is chicken meal what is fish meal what is it well, it's a very cheap, uh, it's, it's cheaper than the actual meat. It's uh, highly processed, high temperature, and it makes it uh, a higher amount of protein, okay? And it's parts of the animal that is not allowed for human consumption. So it's gonna have connective tissues in it. It could have stomach. There could be toenails, there could be feathers. Okay, you get it? You don't want that. Okay, so the, the next um, ingredient, actually the next three ingredients are ground white rice, pearl barley, and oatmeal. Okay, so now why are they putting that in there? Okay, those are fillers. Those are cheap. It's cheap. Rice is cheap. Oatmeal is cheap. Very high in glyphosate too, which is a known carcinogen. Um, barley, 
it's all cheap and it's it's wheat and they put it in there because they need something to glue everything together okay because you know think about it rice oatmeal everything sticks together no i could see if they put one in like just oats or, or just rice which i'm not a fan of but they have three in there so what does that mean for the dog food and for the health of your dog that means that your dog and by the way afco which means nothing but it's like a regulatory system made up of um board of directors of dog foods companies they don't eat afco says you don't even have to put the carbohydrates um, percentage on the dog food i think that may be changing soon but i'm not sure so this dog food it's not listed how much carbohydrates are in it but you can tell because the second third and fourth ingredient are carbs and what is wrong with carbs he better not stop barking carbs turn to sugar okay the dog is going to gain weight the dog can get diabetes i'm going to have to walk in the house because i want to do this video and he's barking at a dog okay so <laughs> um you don't want carbs in a dog's diet okay you this is heavily heavily amount of carbs you don't want that all right so then then it has natural flavors okay there's nothing natural about natural flavors it could have up to like 23 or so many chemicals in it to make the food taste good to make the food smell good so your dog is going to eat it so you think your dog likes it and then it has salt and anything below salt salt cannot be more than one percent in the ingredient list and below salt there's some uh vegetables i didn't even write them down it was like kale carrots you know it makes you think oh my dog is eating kale and carrots it's eating less than one percent people okay so this dog food is just garbage it doesn't even have the real lamb in it it has the ma the meal in it okay what makes it look like it has more protein and the meal consists of like like i said connective tissues and and stomach it's it's food that you wouldn't eat it's not available allowed for human consumption and it has a hell of a lot of carbs because they're make it's cheap they're making this cheap doing meal instead of meat they're making it cheap by doing so many carbs okay <laughs> so go ahead buy this and you're going to be going to the vet because your dog's going to be getting overweight you know it's going to be lethargic it's going to be sluggish it can get diabetes it's not getting the proper uh protein you know uh as in real lamb or again this is this is all kibble i don't believe in any kibble but if you're going to buy kibble make sure the first ingredient i'm looking at my time here is an animal named protein if it says meal of any sort, drop it. Make sure it doesn't have a lot of carbs in it. Yes, if you can't afford a good quality food, get a kibble that has maybe one carb in it. Make sure it doesn't have natural flavors. Make sure that it has fruits and vegetables above salt. Anything below salt, just pay no attention to it, okay? And, and and try, and it's very, very hard with kibble, not to get something with all those vitamins in there because they're all synthetic. I got to be careful here. They're not bioavailable in, in a dog. And they're putting those vitamins in there because there's nothing in the actual ingredients to give the dog nourishment, all right? So please think. Don't read everything. Don't believe everything that you see on Google or whatever search engine you use, okay? All right, that's it. I better get outside, Tamisha. <laughs>